Hello team, I'm Vice Admiral John Mustin, Chief of Navy Reserve and Commander Navy Reserve Force. This is the second video in our four-part series on the Navy Reserve fighting instructions. Following two decades of counterinsurgency support for the global war on terrorism, the fighting instructions provide our action plan to transform the Navy Reserve into the warfighting ready, strategic force the Navy, Marine Corps, and Joint Forces require in this new era of long-term strategic competition. This transformative plan of attack includes three primary lines of effort design the force, train the force, and mobilize the force. I'm joined today by my friend, Rear Admiral Sean Duane, who's spearheading the design the force line of effort. As such, I'm counting on him to shape our force for tomorrow's fight, a fight likely to be against a peer adversary. Thank you, CNR. Shipmates, the design the force line of effort centers on identifying war fighting capabilities best suited for the reserve component based on Navy requirements and assessments of what the reserve force could deliver at a reduced cost with acceptable risk relative to that component. We have identified growth areas based on a strategic depth assessment we developed in coordination with combatant commanders, type commanders, system commands, and numbered fleets. A few of these growth areas include Operational Level of War, or OLW. The aft component values increasingly our OLW capacity and capability, particularly in the Maritime Operation Centers, or MOCs. Expeditionary Logistics. This evolves our warfighting skills in and around our Marine Corps partners. Specifically, expeditionary advanced base operations and littoral operations in a contested environment. A float support. We're looking at restoring seagoing ratings and afloat operations that bring reserve sailors back to the waterfront. In addition to crew des roles, this could include support for hospital ships, littoral combat ships, and upcoming light amphibious warships. Surge maintenance, often called surge main. This reserve unique competency fulfills critical ship and submarine sustainment needs. Recently, over 1,300 surge main sailors were mobilized to our public shipyards to reduce maintenance backlogs brought on by COVID-19. This was a huge success. We must evolve our capability to include expeditionary maintenance in theater. Medical. COVID certainly reaffirmed the need for our Navy Reserve medical community, and we are prepared to address both medical capacity and capabilities relative to the great power competition moving forward. Space. We're adding subject matter experts to major and numbered fleet mocks to provide commanders with situational awareness in the space domain. Cyber. Citizen sailors have unique skills from their civilian employment in the cyber realm, particularly in cyber defense, expeditionary network and communications, as well as cyber planning. We need to leverage this expertise. Emerging technologies, artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data visualization, and predictive analysis have immense potential to alter the nature and pace of warfare. We are evaluating whether to create reserve units to exploit advantages in these emerging technologies. Finally, unmanned systems. Unmanned sensors and shooters will play a pivotal role in our ability to compete and win in contested maritime environments. The reserve component is a cost-effective option to make unmanned systems an integral part of our future force design and activation. While we assess these key capabilities, we're also scrutinizing every reserve billet and unit for its fit within our warfighting readiness structure. Billets that are not in line with the Navy's GPC strategy would be restructured elsewhere to line with long-term strategic competition. If you have any thoughts on moving this line of effort forward, please send them to me through your chain of command. Sir, back to you. Thanks, Sean. The Design the Force line of effort is a critical component of our transformation to a future-ready force. While Rear Admiral Drain and his team are moving out on the Design the Force line of effort, we're concurrently moving forward on our other two lines of effort, the Train the Force and Mobilize the Force lines. In our next two videos, we're going to look at each of those in more detail. Keep up the great work, shipmates. We have some work to do, but we're doing great. Now let's get busy out there.